Got us a coyote. Got us a coyote right there. Number 14 on the season. Got us another coyote. This is a pretty one. This is that set that I made in the uh, sand. He's definitely tore it up. Made him a big old crater in the sand. This is number 14 on the season. This is a pretty good sized dog too. Uh, I put some of my uh, new Tesla here yesterday. But also had some of the uh, Deadly Highway 71. And some of Trapper J's long call lure here. Yeah, that's coyote number 14 on the season. I'm happy. That's number 9 here on this property. So we've definitely been doing good here. Look at all them birds. They're all leaving right there. See all those? That's crazy. I don't even know what kind of birds these are. Look at all of them. You gotta love being on the country, man. You never know what you're gonna see. Here I am getting ready to make a reset and all these birds start flying by. And they're all landing in those trees and I'm not sure why, but there's a ton of them. There's gotta be thousands of them. They're still coming. I ain't never seen that many birds before. Well, they're still coming. There's got to be thousands of them. And they're all landing back over there for some reason. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're all landing under those trees. I'm not sure what's over there that they want, but there's a lot of birds. All right, guys, so as you can tell, this uh, kaya really made a crater here in this sand. It's like a sand pit. It's like they had sand here and then put all their sand in the pile here, used it, and then there's a good, probably a foot and a half layer of sand here. Not sure what it's from, but I've never messed with sand, but there's a good foot and a half hole here now that I'm going to try to I don't know if I'm going to fill it in or if I'm just going to make like a uh, set into the side of this hill but I figured I'd just put the camera up like that and you guys can watch me do this see how I'm going to do it because I don't even know how I'm going to do it yet That's a good sized dog. That's a real good sized dog. Alright, so I think I'm just going to make it into the hill of sand here. Instead of trying to push it all back, I'm just going to make it right there. Maybe put this stump right here to catch their eye. I think that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to move the camera. All right, guys. So I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this set now. Uh, I never made one like this before, so this is the first time. But uh, there's where my bed was. We're gonna dig this sand back out right here. 
I don't need a hammer, I'm going to do it with my hand. We took the strap. Down bottom here, you can see the uh, we definitely dug up the cable, so I guess I'm gonna have to put some sand to bury that. I said I ain't never messed with sand before, so this is the first time, so. I guess I can kind of just build my bed up. I'm not sure. There's like a crater here. I guess I'll just make a bed like that. Put a little bit of peat moss down bottom there. Set the trap in like that. Work it into the sand. I've never trapped in sand before, so I'm not sure what to expect or what to think. There we go. So what I had here before, because again, I've never trapped in sand, so I just put peat moss over my trap, and I kind of just threw it behind to make it look like they were digging right here. It looks like they were digging and threw dirt back is what it looks like now. Take some of the sand and build up around this trap. We just take peat moss, cover that up. So see now it looks like they were digging. And then stop right there. So we're gonna go right there. Our bait hole. Don't even need a hammer. I'm just seeing. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take a little bit of the Deadly Highway 71. Normally I do about half a spoon, so, but I'm only going to do a quarter spoon here. Get about the spoon there. Get them in a big armor and I and push that down to the bottom of my hole. And then I'm gonna have to move this stump closer. So I guess I'll lay it down like that so they can't just come up from behind it or something we got some more of our tesla and then really good with it so just spray some of that down in there this has done really good i've now caught four coyotes on this in three days so it's definitely been doing good and that's all I'm going to put there. I'm not going to put any uh, urine or I'm not going to put any urine or long call or anything like that since we caught the coyote. There's going to be lots of smell here. So hopefully we'll come back here tomorrow and there'll be another dog. There's a whole bunch more than birds up here. I don't know if you guys can see them already. They're everywhere. There's like a big black glob up there. It's all birds. They're about to start flying off. There they all go. Oh, and they all landed again. I got a trap right there, so I'm guessing there ain't no coyote. Did you guys see all this? There's thousands of these little birds.
Look at that. Looks like leaves falling from the trees. You guys know what kind of bird, birds those are? Let me know. I don't know if I'm just more amazed by these birds than I should be, but... I mean, look at all of them. There's thousands of them around here. See them all on the road? I mean, you see them back there in the woods. They're just everywhere. It's like an anthill of birds. What do you guys, what is that, what's it mean when there's this many birds out right here? Surely there's a reason why they're flying around like this. But it's crazy. There's a duck. A whole bunch of deer. So you never know what you're going to see. A duck and a whole bunch of deer. But nothing in the trap. Alright guys, so we just finished checking our trap line today. Uh, we ended up with the one big coyote. So that makes number 14 on the year. Uh, that's awesome. That's way beyond what I was expecting to catch this year. So we got to see lots of uh, wildlife today also. So that's pretty cool. Uh, overall, it was a great day on the trap line. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your trapping season. And catch you on the next one.